medicine or economics, in technology or space, battle lines are being drawn. To triumph, we need results, publishable, applicable results. Now, who among you will be the next Morris? The next Einstein? Who among you will be the vanguard of democracy, freedom, and discovery? Today, we bequeath America's future into your able hands. Welcome to Princeton, gentlemen. Enough Hanson won the Carnegie Scholarship. No, he has to have it all for himself. <laughs> it's the first time the Carnegie Prize has been split. Hanson's all bent. Mm, he's got his sights set on Wheeler Lab, the new military think tank at MIT. Well, they're only taking one this year. <laughs> well, Hanson's used to being picked first. Oh, yeah, he's wasted on men. He should be running for president. be a mathematical explanation for how bad your tie is. <laughs> Thank you. Nielsen, symbol cryptography. Niels here broke a jab code, helped rid the world of fascism. Well, at least that's what he tells the girls, they need. <laughs> <laughs> Name's Bender, atomic physics. And you are? Am I late? Uh, yes. yes, Mr. Gold. Oh, good. Uh, hi. Uh, Saul, Richard Saul. Ah, well, the burden of genius. There he is. So many supplicants and so little time. Mr. Saul? How are you, sir? Ah, Bender. Nice to see you. Congratulations, see you. Mr. Hanson. Oh, thank you. Yeah, I'll take another. Excuse me? A thousand pardons. I simply assumed you were the waiter. Play nice, Hanson. Nice is not Hanson's strong suit. An <laughs> honest mistake. Well, <laughs> Martin Hanson. It is Martin, isn't it? Oh, yes, John, it is. I imagine you're getting quite used to miscalculation. I've uh, read your preprints, both of them. One on uh, Nazi ciphers and the other one on uh, nonlinear equation. And I am supremely confident that there is not a single seminal or innovative idea in either one of them. Christ. The prodigal roommate arrives. Roommate. Oh, God, no. Uh, did you know that having a hangover is, uh, is not having enough water in your body to run your Krebs cycles? Which is exactly what happens to you when you're dying of thirst. So, dying of thirst would probably feel pretty much like the hangover that finally bloody kills you. <laughs> John Nash, Charles Herman, pleased to meet you. Well, it's official. I'm almost human again. Officer, I saw the driver hit me. His name was Johnny Walker. Well, uh, I got in last night in time for English department cocktails. Cock was mine. The tail belonged to a particularly lovely young thing with a passion for D.H. Lawrence. You're not easily distracted, are you? I'm here to work. Oh, you're right, I see. Crikey. So what's your story? You the poor kid that never got to go to Exeter or Andover. Despite my privileged upbringing, I'm actually quite well balanced. I have a chip on both shoulders. <laughs> Maybe you're just better with the old integers than you are with people. My first grade teacher, she told me that I was born with two helpings of brain, but only half a helping of heart. <laughs> really? Yeah. Wow, she sounds lovely. But the truth is that I... I don't like people much. And they don't much like me. But why? With all your obvious wit and chum. <laughs> <laughs> so 
Seriously, John? Mathematics? Mathematics is never going to lead you to a higher truth. And you know why? Because it's boring. It's really boring. You know, half these schoolboys are already published. I cannot waste time with these classes and these books. <coughs> Memorizing the weak assumptions of lesser mortals. <laughs> I need to look through to the governing dynamics. Find a truly original idea. That's the only way I'll ever distinguish myself. It's the only way that I'll ever. Massive. Yes. All right, who's next? No, I've played enough go for this. I, I, wow. I, I, I hate this thing. Coward, wow. all of you. None of you rise to meet my ch challenge? Absolutely. Come on, Bender. Whoever wins, Saul does his laundry all semester. Does that seem unfair to anyone else? Not at all. <laughs> Look at him. Ash, taking a reverse constitutional. I'm hoping to extract an algorithm to define their movement. Oh. So cool. Hey, Nash, I thought you dropped out. You ever gonna go to class? Or... Classes will dull your mind. Destroy the potential for authentic creativity. Oh, okay. I didn't know that. Nash is gonna stun us all with his genius. Which is another way of saying he doesn't have the nerve to compete. <coughs> you scared? Terrified, mortified, petrified, stupefied by you. No starch, pressed and folded. Not have won. I had the first move. I, my play was perfect. The hubris of the defeated. The game is flawed. Go. <laughs> Gentlemen, the great John Nash. You've been in here for two days. You know, Hanson's just published another paper. I can't even find a topic for my doctorate. Well, on the bright side, you've invented window art. This is a group playing touch football. This is a cluster of pigeons who are fighting over breadcrumbs. And this here is a woman who's chasing a man who stole her purse. John, you watched a mugging. That's weird. The competitive behavior, someone always loses. Well, my niece knows that, John, and she's about this high. See, if I could derive an equilibrium, a prevalence is a non-singular event where nobody loses. John, come back, a man. Fortune favors the brave. Bombs away. Gentlemen, might I remind you that my odds of success dramatically improve with each attempt. Maybe you want to buy me a drink. I don't exactly know what I'm required to say in order for you to have intercourse with me. But could we assume that I've said all that? I mean, essentially, we're talking about fluid exchange, right? So could we just go straight to the sex? Oh, that was sweet. <laughs> have a nice night, asshole. <laughs> hey, ladies, wait. wait, wait. I, uh, I especially liked the bit about fluid exchange. It was really charming.